Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, I took my boat out this morning. Noticed I had a hub seal that was leaking a little bit. So I'm fixing to tear it down and show you how to change the hub seal. First, we gotta get the tire and rim off. As you can see, it's a little bit wet here, but this is the seal we're trying to get to. It's leaking oil. These are oil filled hubs. And it's leaking oil out the backside out of the seal so we got to pull this hub off we're going to knock this cap off take the cotter pin out the nut out washer pull the whole hub off and then we're going to pull the seal out we'll put a little catch can underneath to catch the oil i'm going to take this rubber mallet and just tap on the cap while spinning it and keep working it trying to work it out this way There we go. And as you can see, it's got water in it. That's because the seal's bad. And when you back it in the water, uh, not only is the oil dripping out, but water's getting in also. Try to clean up the mess I made. So now we gotta take and straighten out this cotter pin and pull it out, and we can take the nut off. There you go. I'll just throw it in the bucket. There. So it's not a castle nut, it's just a standard nut. And it's got this little cover that goes over it so your cotter pin can go through. It should be fairly loose. Just gonna take this nut off. And there's the nut. Should be a washer down here. Washer. You can slide your whole hub off. This outer barrier might come out. I'm gonna try to keep it as clean as possible because I don't think they're bad. I'm gonna try to reuse them. And there is the seal we gotta get out. So now I got all my parts out. I'm just gonna take some brake cleaner and clean up all these parts right quick and get all the sand and the dirt up. So now I got everything kind of cleaned up a little bit and I'm going to take the hub and just put a couple lug nuts back on it, put it back on the rim that way I kind of got something to hold on to. And I bought this little bearing puller, or excuse me, a wheel seal puller, just a little cheap tool from the parts store. We'll see how hard it is to get it out. There we go. There's our wheel seal. We're gonna clean it up, see if we can get some numbers off of it, order us a new one, clean everything up. We're gonna put it back in reverse order and get it good. So for anybody wondering, here's the seal all cleaned up. Uh, my trailer is a 2005 custom line with the oil hubs buddy bearing oil hubs and the only numbers i can find on the seal are right here on the rubber and it is one six seven three five i tried to look it up not much help so i might have to wait till monday morning and just call uh dexter i think so you get in touch with now buddy bearing dexter and uh get me a new seal so that's the seal that came out of it and my local advanced auto parts had one that measured the same um but fitment is not guaranteed so if you're in a pinch um this part number right here you can get from advanced auto parts to get you out of a bind um but i, I called dexter and they gave me a new part number they don't look the same they don't have the rubber seal on the outside like this one did um but it seems to be like a, a little bit higher quality seal than the one from advanced but I got four of them, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and change them all. And the part number on these is 010-172-00. So I hope that helps a couple people out. It was a little bit of legwork to uh, find these seals. We're going to pop one in there and see what happens. All right, we got our hub all cleaned up. Um, I'm just going to take, and I did use some brake cleaner, clean the inside of the hub good. I cleaned these bearings good with brake cleaner, let them dry. 
So I'm just going to reinstall it just like it came apart. And I'm going to put some little bit of oil on the seal before I start driving it in. Now on the trailer, it did specify to use 50 weight engine oil in the hubs, but <clears throat> I'm in the trucking business. I got some hub oil, so I'm going to try this a little bit thicker. And so I'm hoping that might deter any future leaks a little bit better than 50 weight. So I'm just going to take a little bit and put it around the edge of the seal. The key with the seal is you want to drive it straight. So what I normally do is get a socket about the same size. And I'll start with that just to make sure I'm driving it straight. Alright, I got the bearing reinstalled, got the seal back installed. And I did want to point out that on the front side right here, there is an O-ring right there in that lip that seals off your hub cap or your dust cover. So you might want to check, just make sure it's in good shape. Alright, so I'm just going to slide it back on just like it came off. See how it fits. I'm going to take my inner bearing. Put it back in. Washer. And the nut. So I got the hub and the bearings reinstalled. Um, I did want to mention that with this nut, you want to kind of finger tighten it, spin it a few times, maybe snug it just a hair with a wrench, but you don't want it over tight. You want the, the play out of the hub, but you don't want it super tight because it will burn your bearings up if it's too tight. Castle nut back on, got my cotter pin in and bent over. Now I just gotta put the, the dust cap back on. Now, like I was saying, there is an O-ring right here that seals this dust cap. And you just want to put a little bit of oil on it before you tap it in to make sure that the ring stays in place. Alright, there is the dust cap back on. Now you just want to take this Allen set screw out and you can fill it up with oil. Alright, I think I've got it about three quarters full. There's the fill plug just to make sure I'm going to turn it about three quarter position until some starts running out. You can see if I turn it like halfway, some starts to run out. So I know I'm getting close, but I'm going to run it up to about three quarters and I'm going to put a little bit of RTV or some sort of thread sealant on this set screw, stick it back in and this project will be finished. And I'm going to go ahead and probably do the rest of them since I'm already here. Appreciate you guys checking the channel out. I'm going to get back to work. I'll see you on the next one.